um, from a spiritual perspective, why does racism exist? Okay. So now why does racism exist? First of all, we have to define what do we mean by racism. So in general, the race itself is a very, uh, it's a diffuse category if you go into science to define it. At one level, we might simply define it by say skin color. But then there's a question, does race actually have a, is it a, as I say, biological foundation to it in terms of genes or is it simply a social construction, social construct? So I would like to talk about this at four distinct levels. That is see that in terms of identity, in terms of, um, okay, let me, so when we talk about racism as a disposition, as a, so basically what we mean is that there is people who discriminate, that there are people who discriminate against others, who consider that others are of a, maybe of a inferior level, that kind of discrimination. The Bhagavad Gita says that there are three modes of material nature and we pursue things differently based on the modes. So in the mode of goodness, we see everybody to be equal as having a spiritual essence. In the mode of passion, we equate people with their bodies. And in the mode of ignorance, we equate people with just one particular attribute of theirs, not even their body. This is 1820 to 22 in the Bhagavad Gita. So this knowledge in ignorance is actually a paradoxical construct because in knowledge and ignorance we consider as two opposite things. But knowledge in ignorance means knowledge that actually increases one's ignorance. That means I think I know, but I have only a small tunnel view of reality when the whole bigger picture I'm blind to it. So broadly, when we don't have a we don't have a holistic vision of reality and we don't have a holistic vision of others, then we reduce people to either their just body or a particular attribute associated with their body, then that's what causes any kind of segregationist vision. And racism is one typical product of that. <clears throat> 